What's the matter, Garcinio? Do I make you horny, baby? Do I? <laughs> yeah, baby! When I said we're gonna do Austin Powers for the Halloween episode, I didn't mean we're all gonna be Austin Powers! <laughs> but I have to be Austin Powers. I'm the star of the show, and I make everybody horny. Yeah. What? I'm the star of the show. I'm the one who makes everybody horny, and Randy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the loudest! Look, you're all very horny and loud. The Ozzy Powers thing was supposed to be ironic, but frankly, this bit is a little less groovy than I thought it would be. Shall we shag now or shag later? Cause we got a great show tonight! <laughs> Fucking Dave Davidson's here, yeah, baby! No! No, baby! This is my show, I'm in charge! Hey, big bro! Wanna know how I got these scars? I don't know, spirit gum? Get off the stage, Corey! My father was a drinker and a thief. No, 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 no. Corey. In the time it would take for me to explain to you why Heath Ledger Joker isn't cool anymore, he would die again. You guys are ruining Halloween for me! And it's my favorite holiday, other than Vampire New Year! Or Frankensteinica! L'chaim! <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Halloween isn't about power struggles, be they Austin or otherwise. <laughs> Halloween's about having fun and being spooky. <laughs> right? Am I right, everybody? <laughs> Sorry. How did this guy get back in? Kevin, kick him out! I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin Powers, and if I make you horny, give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! No, 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 never mind, never mind. <laughs> Folks, we got a great show for you tonight. I'm your host, Austin Powers. <laughs> and with me, as always, are my number twos, also Austin Powers, Mutoid Man, and Burt Bacharach! <laughs> You gotta, you gotta leave. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna lose all my shit. Our guest tonight, from Revocation, Guitar Gold member, Dave Davidson! But first, a very swinging commercial. Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, come on, who throws a shoe? Honestly, what is this, 2008 in an Egypt TV network? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Jumping jack-o'-lanterns, I didn't see you there. It's me, your old pal, Weird Al, Vira. I was just watching my neighbor's bird. He's dead, but I'm still watching him. Hey, bird bones stink and so do you. That's why you should get Whiplash from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. And ghouls, between you and me, there's nothing your partner likes more than a natural green smell. Hit it, Bernie. Back. 
I'm taking the wig off because the bit's ruined. That is so not groovy. Hey, you tweet man, uh, do you guys want to see a magic trick? Corey, why are you still here? Get off the stage before I eat your bird. Uh, Philip Seymour Hawkman? No, 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 no. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it in the Staples parking lot. <laughs> Folks, our guest tonight has the name of a Marvel character and shreds and screams in the band Revocation. Their new album, The Outer Ones, is out now. Please slap all of your little meat touchy thingies together for Dave Davidson. <laughs> Go, go revocation, I guess. Are you Tommy or Jason? I can't, I'm colorblind. I'm uh, whatever the Red Ranger was. The one that murdered his roommate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. totally. Do you need me to unzip you? It's so hot in this thing. Yep, yeah, okay. This, yeah. uh, oh, All right, here. there we go. Yeah. 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 I can see that. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. Dave, thank you for being here. First question, do I make you horny? Do I? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah! 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 There it is. Is the Red Ranger your favorite of the Rangers? This was the cheapest costume that I could. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'm more, yeah. more of a Goldar kind of guy. Hell yeah. Yeah. Woo! But they didn't have a Goldar. Thank you. I'm, but I'm contractually obligated to wear this. You don't need to say that. We've already talked to your lawyers. Sweet. <laughs> Were you like a kaiju guy? Uh, like, like dudes in suits? No, I'm, bugs? no, I never really got into any of like the role playing uh, thing. Although I recently started playing Dungeons and Dragons. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. yeah I'm a half elf bard named Jingle. Sick. Yeah. I rolled a pretty high charisma score. I can tell. I also just started playing literally for the first time, uh, and I'm uh, I'm like a I forget what it's called, like a half elephant thing named uh, Judith. I forget this is what the, the numbers are. It has to be a nerdy conversation. You have the name of a Marvel character. Yes, it's true. <laughs> your first name is most of your last name. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, are you a guy that loves Halloween? Do you like? Yeah, it's a Halloween it's a Halloween? great great holiday. Do you have any cool Halloween stories? I have one cool one. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we went as the band Death. You guys are fans of Death? Yeah! yeah. yeah. We did, uh, I was Chuck Schuldiner, and we, we played a song off every single record. I had a, I had a wig, it was quite That's a awesome. Did anybody, like, guess that you were even other people at a metal show? <laughs> well, no, it was, it, we were billed as, you know, performing. Hell yeah. Death, yeah. We were billed as the John McCain's. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming out in October, so that joke is going to be... John McCain is going to be, have been dead for four months. Which is the best. Speaking of Halloween, uh, what's your favorite model of BC Rich Guitar? Uh, <laughs> Probably an Ironbird, but I had a BC Rich Warlock growing up and a BC Rich Mockingbird. So. Me too. <laughs> what um, series was it? Was it NJ? Oh no, no, it was yeah. made of like <laughs> it was like at Sears and had a tiny little amp that w ran off of like probably AAA batteries. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's tone right there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Breaks up real nice when they're about to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, so this isn't the first time we've seen you in costume on Halloween. Last year, uh, you guys all dressed up like Spider-Man for your show? Spider-Man, yeah. Spider-Man. It, it was a similar, similar bit to you guys, yeah, we... Uh... What bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were in Toronto, and we, went as, we all went as Spider-Man. They didn't get the memo. We were gonna be the Avengers, but... Yeah, it's really frustrating when no one reads emails. <laughs> Can't read. I knew it! Big problem in this country. I mean, <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, that leads into the next question. How would you fix education? <laughs> I, would, I would get Betsy DeVos. 
out of there. Hell yeah! yeah. You also uh, have worked with uh, Marty Friedman. They've worked with Marty Friedman. How does everybody keep meeting Marty Friedman? <laughs> and I'm not meeting him. Poodle convention. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was it was all through email actually believe it or not yeah. so uh, yeah I was asked to like give like a quote about one of his upcoming records or whatever a few months down the line his record label contacted me again they're like hey how do you feel about like writing a song on this record I'm like this is way cooler than just giving a one sentence blurb about Marty like hell yeah. yeah I mean it was just like a crazy experience like writing music with like one of your idols like from halfway around the world so we were never yeah. actually in the room when any of that went down it was all just email exchanges like sending demos back and forth but it was cool. He totally let me have artistic freedom. He was like, you know, put some singing on it if you want it. And uh, yeah, it's on the Inferno record. So it was a real honor to do that. And uh, I'm happy with the way it came out. It was weird. Like, I got like choked up, like, listening back to it. Like, Martin Freeman solo and on a riff I wrote. <laughs> there are like a few idols that I meet that just still like caused me to, f to feel like I am like 15 years old. Do you still find yourself meeting people that you're like, I'm f I fucking can't meet that person, I'm gonna punish them. I, I definitely punish Ron Jeremy on the Sunset Strip. <laughs> <laughs> was, That's only fair because I'm sure he's punished a <laughs> lot of people. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, you're Ron Jeremy. He's like, yeah, I'm like, can I get a picture with you? He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> You straight up punished Ron Jeremy? It was like, a, did it you was have a, a ton of Ron Jeremy questions? No, no, I was in and out. Much like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Does everybody have, on the stage have like uh, a, a, a story about uh, punishing one of their idols? I insulted Morrissey a couple weeks ago. <laughs> That's not punishing, that's just the right thing it's to do. It's the truth. <laughs> no, somebody was like, hey, Morrissey's right behind you. And I go, I don't give a fuck, Morrissey sucks. And he was literally, <laughs> he was literally like, he was like that far away and I didn't know. I was gonna punish Fat Mike, but then he like reverse punished me. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like, hey, you guys are Converge, right? You guys do drugs? <laughs> So let's talk about horror movies. You have more than six tattoos, so I'm sure you like them. You are correct. Yeah. Yes. I love horror movies. Do you have any horror movie tattoos? Do I? Or are they just... <laughs> no, I don't. I've got some Lovecraft tattoos. My half sleeve, uh, I got it in my like early 20s, and it's uh, just a half sleeve of like the movie Halloween, and I was like, I'm gonna love that movie forever, and now I'm like, should have bought a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You've got, you've got a evil, uh, what is it? Uh, not an evil dead tattoo, you've got a... Oh, Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead tattoo, yeah. yeah. It's uh, on your like, leg. I, yeah. I, I haven't been looking up pictures of your legs online or anything. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, there's Arsenio a whole Tumblr Hall's about legs. <laughs> Don't check my browser. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any tattoos that you're like, I, fu I fucking regret it? No, I, I'm kind of down with all my, my tattoos. I got like an ode to hot sauce on one leg. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Nick, you kind of look like a, like a lunchbox. Like, yeah. a, like a lunchbox that has bad stickers all over yeah, it? Yeah, I regret all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the only ones I don't regret are the Thomas Hooper ones that I got. Every, Hell yeah. Everything Tom else Hooper. is pretty corny. <laughs> oh, and the Dan Bones one I got when we played. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was cool. Would you get tattooed while playing? I guess I would, I don't know. Yeah? If it was a cool tattoo. Although it will I, I be had to a like cool sing tattoo. and play at the same time, so like I gotta like kind of move Do the Bob Dylan stuff. thing, man. Get that mic coming in from this side. <laughs> <laughs> Put your leg up. Yeah, I mean, if you can like wheel me out on a gurney and I don't have to do anything, then sure. <laughs> Is that your Bob Dylan impression? What? No, it's like... <laughs> it's the same as my John McCain impression. <laughs> Wait, is Bob Dylan still alive? Yes. He might be dead by October, though. That's good material, then. Dave, thank you so much for being here. Before you have to return to Zordon, do you want to help us fight off my demons by playing a song? What kind of demons are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what the demons do. I started smoking when I was like 15. <laughs> you're, 
You're not paying me for this, by the way, so, you know, wrap it up. Oh, yeah, no, we gotta wrap it up. We do not have any more money for that. <laughs> All right. Dave Davidson, everybody! <laughs> but first, but first, a short by Edward Jr. Guitar tech coming through. We got a total emergency. No, Suck my ass. ass. What do we got, Kid Cod? Thick shit, you're here. We got a guitarist holding this whole band hostage with a fucking metal zone, man. 36 Crazy Fist. That thing generates every frequency of distortion except for the usable ones. It's the worst distortion pedal in the world. I'm a drummer. Speak English. Maybe this will tune your snare. That thing sounds like bees having sex in a bowling alley. Sounds like a washing machine full of car accidents. It sounds like the Slim Jims guy if he was a guitar. Randy Savage? No, the one who looks like a piece of shit. Oh, macho man Randy Savage. Listen, that guy stomps on that thing, Everybody's ears are gonna diarrhea. Let's open up this pit. Oh! All right, Mama and Papa Roach, drop those fucking picks! Fuck! You guys called the poser cops? Listen, man, I told you, the metal zone is for middle schoolers that want to cover their mistakes with too much gain. There are memes about how much that thing sucks. No, nah, man, the pedal's cool. Here, just let me show you. Do not touch the pedal! Those knobs are gonna unscoop those mids! All right, Santana. What are your demands? Demands? I just want to play my pedal, okay? I paid for it. So what? I paid for a movie pass and it doesn't even exist anymore. Listen, there's gotta be something you want. What's it gonna take to get that metal zone into the toilet zone? Okay, okay, I want, uh, I want to cover Enter the Sandman. I know everyone does it, but guys, it's a fun song and, and I don't want to have to load out. You never load out. Everybody knows the drummer and the bassist do the loadouts! Well, I don't want to feel guilty about it! I'm a drummer, not a therapist. Listen, I'm just gonna turn it on and show you. It's not that bad. No, don't do it! That pedal killed my partner! Yeah, the pedal's not gonna hurt anybody. I know the sound I want. Can't let you do that stuff, Ox! Look, I get it. You started a band, you think you know some shit. You're gonna cut the sleeves off your shirts and maybe get a horror movie tattoo. But you have a horror movie tattoo. Exactly, Jake! That's my point! You're in a new band, you think you're cool. But here's the reality. Being in a band sucks, music sucks, and you guys suck! But there are rules! You can't just get one pedal for your tone, you gotta get a ton of them. You gotta put them on a big board so it looks like a Megazord of Game Boys. And you gotta pay more than $200 for each of them. And none of them can say the word metal on them. That's like getting a tattoo of the word music. It's a funny joke. Thank you. Funny guy, I yeah. appreciate it. If you don't start taking this way too seriously, then this is just a hobby. And that's not what being in a band is about. Being in a band is about ruining your entire life, ignoring the sands of time and God himself, and believing that you are still gonna make it. We are gonna make it. None of us are gonna make it. Oh, kid. What's your name? Brian? Alex. Listen, Chris. That thing sounds like shit. And if you stop on it, all of our ears are gonna shed their uterine linings. This whole building is gonna break up with us for not getting a real job. I didn't, I don't. I'm... You seem like a nice kid. You got a lot of empty shows ahead of you. So just give me that pedal and we'll go to Sam Ash and shop for tube screamers together. I just wanted to play some juicy ribs. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm not comfortable being in a band with a convicted poser. You guys owe me 50 bucks for Ubers. Ah, but, 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 but. Let me just play you this song. It's like Converge, but music. No! Saves the day. Actually, I think you just turned it on. Cut my life into pieces. <laughs> but maybe if I turn the gain down? I don't know what gain does. It has something to do with the Why'd you dive on it, you big egg? The giant button. I know. Is the band gonna be okay? They're fine, they're listening to thing, Lizzie. I'm sorry I have to do this. Don't be. I know the law. Hey, hey, I'll see your ass in the pit in 10 to 12 years. Oh, God. You have the right to shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Anything you've said on Twitter in 2007 will have consequences on your current scene, Chris. You have the right to black jeans, and if it's the summertime, the state will provide you with scissors to make shorts. All oh, my pants are shorts. Oh god, I'm arresting my boy! Folks, it's Halloween, which means two things. One, I'm probably gonna get knockout punched by a 13-year-old with more YouTube subscribers than me on the way home. <laughs> And number two, you're gonna hear some fucking Iron Maiden. Yeah! Swing and swing, motherfuckers!
right, cucumber water for everyone. <laughs> What's up, creeps? This is Hi Melissa. Happy Halloween. Ah! All right, folks, that's our show. Huge thanks to Karina Zachary from Husbandry and Monsters on the Horizon. And the man that makes me want to throw my hands in the garbage, Dave Davidson. Stay tuned for Hemlock Grove. Hey, don't go to Ben's mom's house. She's giving out raisins. Yeah.